several years ago, I was going through a lot of angst at my job. A lot of commotion was going on and I was getting headaches and stomach aches. I saw my primary care doctor and she ran some tests and lo and behold, they learned that I had lung cancer that had already metastasized or moved to my brain. She went through a series of standard treatments for lung cancer and eventually her disease progressed and the state of the art or the state of the knowledge base improved to the point where other um, genetic abnormalities were identified that were more common in never smokers and so we decided to take out a lung tumor to do additional testing and we were able to find her particular uh, tumor's genetic abnormality which was uh, called ALK, A-L-K. In this era of individualized medicine in um, the world of oncology, what we're looking for within the tumor is to find some specific molecular driver of that tumor. We then would come up with a treatment that targets that particular driver. And that's the case with Donna, we get ahead of it. It was great because I was able to, to get on this new drug that was targeted right at the cancer anywhere it was in my body. And so I don't have side effects from it. I don't have to come into the hospital and get chemotherapy, and it hasn't gotten any bigger. He still can't measure it, and it's, it's great. I feel more like myself than I ever did on the other treatments, and it really makes a huge difference. The treatment should not really be one size fits all. We really talk about individualized medicine or really personalized medicine coming up with a treatment that is unique that can benefit a patient specifically um, that's based on as much information that we can glean from their disease process. I think targeted therapy or personalized therapy is great. If it's known up front what type of cancer you have and some of the genetics behind it, they can start right with that instead of going through the other drugs, which sometimes have a harsher effect on one's body. Without this, uh, I don't know where I'd be today. I really don't.